Hi, this is Joel. One of my previous videos, I had a commenter asked about the adjustable rider backrest that I've got mounted on this uh, bike here. Now, I didn't install this. Um, I actually had it installed when I took delivery of the bike. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to uh, just kind of show a few of the features of the adjustable rider backrest and um, just give you an idea of how they routed the cable. Um, there's a few videos out there on YouTube uh, that how to uh, mount these up to the bike. But uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you what it looks like, uh, some of the features of it. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video. The adjustable rider backrest adjusts forward and aft about an inch and a half. It has a actual a little uh, actuator that mounts underneath right here, right behind this little fairing um, that allows it to move far and aft. And you just slide up on it, and it's got a spring that spring loads it all the way forward. Like I said, the adjustment's probably about an inch and a half forward and aft, and it's got a pretty good spring on it. Um, I normally keep it about flush with the back part of the uh, seat here, or maybe a little bit further back. Um, it also has an adjustment up and down, and I'll move the camera so you can see that adjustment here in just a second. And then I'll uh, take the camera and show you how this, is, how this actuator right here is uh, mounted underneath here. The adjustable rider backrest also can be adjusted up or down by pulling out on this little... Uh, pin right here. And the lowest position to the highest position right here is two inches and there's a half basically it adjusts in half inch half inch increments up to its highest position which looks about like that. And of course this cover, this soft cover just covers up the uh, the knob back here on the backrest. Also so a passenger can get on and of course if we had the tour pack on here you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, it's kind of difficult for people to get on and off. But really, all you have to do is push it forward, like so, and it'll get totally out of the way. So, that way a rider can get on, a passenger can get on and off the back of the bike without having to hang themselves. The adjustable rider backrest can also be removed fairly easily. And when I take the seat off in a few minutes and show you how the mount is set up and everything, this will, this will be a little bit easier to see. But I wanted to see, wanted you to see how easy it is to remove it. There's a little lever back here. You just slide to the outside, and the whole backrest comes off. So you're back to looking just like the bike did when it came from the factory with this factory seat. To reinstall, just find the slot, slide it, and let it lock. And what you couldn't see with the seat on was how I was taking the backrest off. And this is what I was pulling on right here to release the lock. And notice you can see the little notch right there that this, there's a pin behind this slide with a spring on it that locks it into place. So all I was doing is reaching in behind the seat and opening that up to release the seat back. And again, to lock it back into place, there you go. The adjustable mount for the adjustable backrest is a separate item in the catalog. Um, based off of what I can tell here, again, I, never, I didn't see it actually get installed, but I've seen a couple of videos on how to install them. There's a couple of bolts here with like a mounting bracket. There's another bolt right here, and then there's two that mounted in right here into the fender. Um, and uh, you really, I don't know if you can really see it, but the lighting harness going back to the tail light kind of passes underneath it right here. And of course, in the previous video, you saw where I was wiring up the bag lights and, and all for the uh, uh, detachable tour pack. The, the cable um, comes in and attaches right here, and that's what allows that, that play in the forward and aft movement of the adjustment on the backrest. And that cable comes out back around, and they had wire tied it in right here. It goes underneath. And again, I'll show you in just a second where this cable kind of loops back around and comes out and just just forward right here is where the uh, the mechanism is to make the adjustments. Now you can see where they mounted the lever right here to make the uh, so you can adjust the backrest and all it is is when you raise up it takes the tension off to where you can move the adjustment fore and aft 
and then when you release it, it locks back into place. So the way it's set up, there's no notches, so to speak. It's just you can adjust it infinitely between the fore and aft. Um, I'm really not sure exactly uh, how to tell you how they mounted it up. I'm sure they took this off. I think there's three bolts on it. When they took it off, then they turn around and mounted the hardware up. And the cable comes down through the bottom right here and mounts up to the back side of the, of the latch. So I hope this short video has, uh, will help you understand the uh, features of the Harley-Davidson adjustable backrest uh, for the touring bikes. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, sure saves on the back on a long ride. Um, and you know, I like the fact that if you want to take it off, it takes just a split second to take it off. And um, so anyway, hope this video helps out.